Uh, if a person does not have a liver, um, there will be multiple complications. Uh, because the liver gets rid of all the toxins that our body produces, or it uh, metabolizes some of the uh, medications that we eat. If there's no liver, all these toxins will accumulate and it can cause uh, brain damage, including confusion, uh, disorientation, and even coma. Secondly, the liver is very important in making proteins that help us uh, circulate in the blood, that help us clot our blood. So there'll be an increased risk of bleeding, um, thirdly, the liver is very important for food digestion, so he will not be able to digest food, mainly fats. Fatty liver is a totally different matter. Fatty liver is when there's fat accumulation within the cells of the liver. When fat accumulates in the liver, a certain percentage of those uh, people will eventually develop inflammation and eventually after chronic, uh, uh, a chronic period of inflammation, the body will then develop scar tissue in the liver. So a cirrhotic liver is when the liver is shrunken and is hardened because there's a lot of scar tissue and there's not enough functioning liver tissue. A person has fatty liver just due to alcohol intake alone. If they stop alcohol consumption, within two weeks, most of the fat in the liver can decrease. In patients who have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, then the problem is excessive fat, uh, too much weight, not enough exercise. So then it becomes a lifestyle issue. Currently, there are no specific medications that can uh, completely reduce the fat in the liver. The most effective method is really weight loss. Now, uh, patients who have fatty liver who develop liver inflammation and cirrhosis are an increased risk of liver cancer. Now for us, the primary treatment for liver cancer, for any liver cancer, is a surgical removal of the part of the liver that has the cancer. Okay? But in doing that, we must make sure the patient has enough functioning liver volume remaining. Unfortunately, in those patients who are already cirrhotic, we cannot remove a big amount of their liver because whatever is remaining is not functioning well. And it will increase the risk of bleeding after operation and liver failure. Therefore, for patients who are uh, uh, cirrhotic, who are not fit for partial removal of the liver, then the other option is liver transplantation. So for living donors, these are special people who wants to donate half their liver to help a loved one who needs a liver transplantation. We can do part of the operation laparoscopically. Laparoscopic surgery compared to open surgery uh, entails that we use smaller incisions. Uh, we use a special camera and there's a video and we put uh, special gas into the abdomen so that we can see the organs. And using special laparoscopic instruments, we can do our dissection and operation that way. The patient has a choice in everything. What the doctor has to do is to present the various options. In fact, for some patients, laparoscopy is not suitable for them. Maybe because the anatomy is not suitable. Say we want to resect something at the back of the right lobe of the liver, which is right over here. It's very difficult to do it laparoscopically because laparoscopy means you have to come in from the, from the, uh, from the front and from the side. So in cases like that, if it's a big tumour at the back, the patient is not suitable laparoscopically because it might be dangerous. So for each patient, we make a decision on an individual basis. Is this better done laparoscopically or is this done better open?